Welcome! In this video tutorial, we'll show you the basic steps to design a closet system using the Easy Closets online design tool. The shape of the closet we're designing is a reach in. This is typically an enclosed space you reach into that has product built onto the back wall. Once selected, choose the View Sample Design or Enter Measurements option. Click Enter Measurements. From here, the design tool asks you for the dimensions of your space. The design tool assumes that for a reach-in closet, the depth from front to back will be 24 inches. Enter the dimensions of the back wall in inches. Then enter the two dimensions of the return walls, which is the width from the right-hand wall to the door opening and the left-hand wall to the door opening. Make sure that you have accurate dimensions from the middle of the wall instead of the baseboards. Click Continue. Next, select the type of door you have on your closet. This is important to know so you can accommodate for drawers, baskets, or other slide-out accessories in your design. After your door type is entered, the Easy Closets design tool will generate and display a suggested design layout for you. You are ideally looking for the center of the closet to be the focal point. This focal point could be drawers, shelving, shoe shelves, or baskets because they tend to be more attractive and allow easy access. Features like drawers, baskets, or hampers which need to slide or tilt out are important to have in the center of the back wall to be within a door opening. You should also consider that your hanging garments store deeper than your shelving. Your hanging garments extend from the back wall approximately 24 inches, whereas your shelving, drawers, baskets, or hampers are 14 inches deep. For easiest access, shallower units will be placed in the middle and deeper items will be on the ends. On the left and the right of this reach-in closet is where hanging garments will go. In the drop-down menu, you can choose from several different types of adjustable hanging configurations. Short hanging is a single hanging rod at the bottom with shelving above. Double hanging includes two hanging rods for shirts, blazers, blouses, or folded pants. Medium hanging is one closet rod and shelving above, providing room for storing knee-length dresses or longer jackets. Tall hanging is for your full-length items plus one shelf is included above. Triple hanging has three levels designed to accommodate young children's clothing. When you click on an arrow, a menu pops down with all the different configurations available to you in that section. Drawer units come in different configurations from three to five drawers, in various heights. A brief description is provided when each option is highlighted. Once selected, the design updates to reflect this change. Shelving comes in two options, adjustable or combined with a hanging option. Hutch units always sit on the floor. On all hutch variations, the base drawer units are 19 inches deep, while the shelving above is 14 inches deep. Shoe shelves come in variations of straight or slanted shelves. The hamper option provides an easily removable basket. The slide-out basket options include single or multiple baskets with shelving above. At the very bottom of the drop-down is the Customize section, where you have more options to customize instead of using a pre-configured suggestion. The Undo button prompts you to confirm that you want to undo the changes. Clicking OK will then take you one step back. Located at the top right is the price, and with every change you make while designing, the price will automatically update. On the right-hand side, there are two different perspectives that you can preview. The top option is the front view of the closet. It shows all the different types of storage selected in each section. The bottom option is the external view, which will show an overlay of your doors and return walls. This view is important to ensure baskets, drawers, or hampers are located within your door openings so that they fully open. The width of each closet section is another customizable option. Simply click on the number above any individual section. From here, you can enter a desired width. After clicking OK, you will notice that the design and the dimension summary will automatically update. This dimension summary will tell you the ceiling height, the top shelf height of the closet system, 
the usable width of the closet and the width and depth of your closet system, referred to as units. The next dimension, the unused width, is important because you do not want to leave any more unused space than the 3 8 of an inch buffer that you need for ease of installation. The autofill option helps to fill the unused space. This will be covered in another tutorial. Changing the overall closet layout dimensions is done by selecting the Change Layout button. More detail on overall layout changes will be covered in another tutorial. Here is where you choose the aesthetics and accessories to customize your closet. Color options will reflect in the design layout and pricing once clicked. Below the color options, you can select your hardware finish, front style for doors and drawers, and your handles and knobs, which will include options to match your hardware. The Accessories section provides additional options to add tie or belt racks, dividers, hooks, or other miscellaneous items. Other additional customizations include basket colors, drawer glides, crown molding, radius vertical panels, and special wall types. If you haven't done so already, name your design. The default name is Master, but you can change it to something unique for your design. Lastly, when everything is set just the way you like it, click the button to save your design. You will be prompted to save your design by setting up a new account or save it to an existing account. Designing your custom reach-in closet system couldn't be easier. Get started today at easyclosets.com.